Hello, fourth graders. We're in our last week of the Parfletch, and so this week your goal is to add color. And it's up to you if you decide on a color scheme. This one I was just thinking of like red, brown, orange, and yellow because they're kind of, they're kind of related. But you could use whatever color scheme you would like. Um, but as you're coloring, you're trying to find the same shapes. So this is yellow, that's yellow, red, red, um, so that this side matches that side. So make sure that you're coloring symmetrically. You can certainly leave some of the bag open. So if you would like to leave some of it just um, the bag, that's fine. This one I used art sticks, which are kind of like a colored pencil. Um, and then on this one, I was coloring with marker to see what marker would look like. And I did notice it comes out a little bit darker than I was expecting when I was coloring. And then um, some of you were asking, do I need to do both sides? And I really wasn't um, clear on that. If you have time, you could work on the other side. This one, I haven't colored it yet, but I did do a nice design and I had both of the flaps be symmetrical this way. Um, with this one, I had designed it this way and I was thinking the flap would open like this. And so I um, just put the design on the top of the flap. And then this one, I was coloring with crayon and I really like the way that crayon looks on the paper bag. If you are still struggling to find something to work on um, and you haven't done your design yet, I did a symmetrical design in the sketchbook and there's a video that shows me drawing this up and you are certainly welcome to just draw your symmetrical design in your sketchbook. Um, my goal is that you're making art and you're learning something. So if um, the paper bag isn't working, just go to your sketchbook and do a fun design. Take a picture. Make sure you click add response so that I see your project when you turn it into Seesaw.